Hello, Bishop Ryan. In this video, I'm going to show you how to request tech help for your various tech support needs and troubleshooting. If encountering difficulties with remote learning and require assistance, please begin by visiting the parent website, which you can find on the board website, www.hwcdsp.ca. You can see in the very top banner, the parent website can ask accessed right on the right hand side. Once navigating to the parent web portal page, look at the blue boxes as your options. And notice in the top middle, the tech help option is there for you. Click on it. Under this technical support for online learning site, you'll find a number of different topics here. For example, in the frequently asked questions topic area, you'll find lots of different help for changing your password and what to do if you've forgotten your password for your accounts. I remind you that if password changes and or access to your accounts is one of your major concerns, keep in mind that when prompted to change your password, you must use the following requirements. Your password must be eight characters in length. It must have at least one capital letter. It has to have at least one lowercase letter and at least one number or one symbol. Do not use any part of your first name or your last name or any part of your school student number or your date of birth. The system is wise enough to know that these do not make passwords and will reject your new password if you use those. For other tech support issues, I encourage you to scroll down and access them here through the tech help request form. So if you click on this button, you'll notice that you come to a form where you can outline the specific tech request that you have or the troubleshooting that you need done. And this form will go straight to our ICT department where a technician will contact you for help. So let's fill this out together. So firstly, you would start with full name. You'll select your school. In our case, of course, it's Bishop Ryan, which you would scroll down to the bottom and find in the secondary schools. Please identify the area or topic of which you require support. Once again, notice it's a drop down menu. And you can select from a variety of different concerns that you might have. So let's say in this case here, you have a concern with my class or the LMS. Please provide a brief description of the issue that you are experiencing. So let's say, for example, your issue is that you can't submit assignments on the LMS. So I'm going to write that in here. And then it asks you to list your teacher. So let's say in your case, your teacher is Mr. Seth. It also lastly asks you for your grade level. And of course it's a drop down menu and let's pretend we're in grade 10. Once you select that, a seventh field comes up asking you about your course. And so let's pretend I'm taking grade 10 academic history, CHC 2D7. Notice in this page here, the first field is the contact information. Um, so first it asks you, who, who are they contacting? So you're going to select and let's pretend in this case here, it's the student knows I want uh, ICT to contact me. It asks me for the name of the contact person and so I will put my name in here again. If I selected parent, this would be the name of parent. And now it asks for an email address, so I would give them my school board email address. You can see phone number is optional because they may choose to call you. I hit submit and you'll notice that right away you receive a, a bit of a thank you and a submission uh, accepted notification that is here. And once you receive that, your submission has been submitted to ICT and they will contact you either by email or telephone, help you to troubleshoot your technical problem or issue that you have. 
And it's as simple as that. That's how you request tech help for various issues that you may have with regards to remote and online learning and other technology that you're using currently with our school board. Thank you and have a great day.